here again, Ride With Peaks Full Frontal Edition. So this is just just uh, just landing at Dom's bike stop, picking up from the other video. Um, it's a good place. We've had some tea and cake, and there he is, absolutely chock-a-block full of cheese and onion toasty. What a guy. We've been having a chat about um, traction control and slip control and all that sort of stuff. And it's always worth knowing how much grip is out there. So to demonstrate such a thing, on a nice gravelly surface like this, just got to give it the beans sometimes. If you happen to do little wheel spins when it's nice and controlled and you know what you're doing, you won't be so worried about when they happen on the, out on the road and the slippy mud. So, that was a good place that. Highly recommended. Top notch. Top chap. Absolutely super. This is the uh, return leg from our previous video. If I knew how to, I'd probably put a link somewhere on this. So we're talking about things like how to deal with those temporary traffic lights, how to get to the front, how to just maintain the momentum. And lay down the gauntlet and said, go on then. So I said, okay. And let's see how we do. So we're just rolling up behind this set of temporary traffic lights again. And if you have a look up the inside, you can see the traffic light there. So it's on red. We're obviously going to get stopped waiting at this traffic light. So, get ourselves into a position where we can see the traffic light and we can try and see what's coming around the corner as well. Now I'm looking up over the top of the traffic, so uh, we'll speed this up a little bit, get some of this traffic moving past us, and then hopefully demonstrate what I mean by getting to the front and just timing it perfectly. Okay, so here's the last car that's going past us. just need to consider where do we need to be it's not sneaking out now we're sneaking out nice wide nothing coming there's the traffic light and off we go just overtaking all those vehicles without any danger at all and now we're at the front of the queue for quite some time. Always keep that in mind. If you can't do that, think it's on and do it. It's just about getting to the front. But get to the front and time it right. So we're heading back a different way now. Uh, I'm about to turn off left onto a, an unknown road to either of, either of us. A good opportunity to test out the old road reading techniques. Got a few cars ahead of us. You can to see that. We're mostly focusing on uh, on our man behind. We're looking for the opportunities to overtake. As far as that road opens up, we can put an overtake in there. 
ready for those overtakes before the Queen Baker map. So we made a first overtake there, we can see we've got another few cars ahead of us in the lorry. The lorry's obviously going to be slowing us up and hold us back. So again, unknown road. We just need to be aware of what's coming up. And react to any other optic opportunity we can. As quick as we can. Try and anticipate what's going to be happening. Side views, looking for outside views, getting up into the overtaking position, dropping back. We're through the village at the minute, so obviously nothing's going on here, so drop back a nice safe distance from the car in front of us. Nicely, but I'm taking. It's a slice. Pick them off. Opportune overtakes. Having a good all round check round. Just behind the white van now. As the road opens up, we're off. So quite a nice opportunity that as the corner opens up, we can accelerate out. What those ever takes it. The lorry there is holding holding our man up, so we'll just uh, we'll just wait for him to catch up. Not giving any indication at all. It's safe for him to overtake. Okay, so totally unknown piece of road. This using the view, using the road, using what we can see. As much as we can. Cross trees across hedges, looking at telegraph wires, looking at where the road's going, looking at trees in the distance. Just taking it all in. Still fairly damp, still a little bit of mud on the road in places. We can straighten the road off if we can do. Old narrow road, this one. Just ideal, really. But there's all the, all the clues are there, all the signs. There's a sign there for you know, farm coming up. Farms normally have been horrible tarmac because they have the cattle walking across the road, needs some tarmac. So just roll off a bit. You never know what you're going to quite expect to find. Behind the car, we've got some double whites. So, we 
can roll off for a little bit. which way the corner's going. We can judge our speed accordingly, get into the right position. vanishing points. What's the furthest distance you can see? That tells you the speed you can approach that corner at. Left hand corner coming up. Good position. Good position on the road there as we approach the corner. Around the corner. Now I hope that's not an overshoot. We carry on. slime on the road here and as uh, as our man's running slipped we're rolling off there so let's concentrate on positioning so looking at the back a bit of wet on the road we need to avoid that if we can it's safe to do so but getting in the right position for what's coming up. We can't see it, we can't react to it. Let's go through this nice little village. So again, just going back to standard road reading techniques. Get in the right position. Use the road, as you can see. Use the trees. Use the headline. Use the 
speeding up a nice bit of progress along this route. drive around those. Into the so we're still following these cars in the van. Not to bring any opportunities to overtake these. It looks like now with a few buildings uh, come into a built up area. So it seemed like several months passed and we're finally at the end of that road. Heading towards Bridge North. So it's a nice opportunity just to roll up behind the cars, keep themselves tricking along, practice a bit of slow speed control, and then go when it's free. Stitch drum a little bit there. The temptation is here is to cross the double white lines, but uh, you did very well not to. There you come. And there you are. Nicely overtaken just into the face of that uh, police van. Coming to a roundabout. Hello. Thank you. And look at the van ahead of us. And just looking up the inside, the opportunity for an overtakes coming on. Got a national speed limit sign, got a road on the right hand side. So wait, 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 clear that road. Have a look round. Then accelerate on as we get the national speed limit sign.
coming up behind a few cars. Double whites. So we have to work with this overtake a little bit. Got some Chevron signs, so we know we're going to be going around corners. There might be an opportunity as they attack these corners. We can accelerate past. Having another check. It's all clear. The get in arrows, so we're in nicely before them. So, a couple of cars ahead of us, and then they uh, well, looks like a van towing a, towing a trailer. Obviously, he's been holding this queue of cars up for quite some time, so be aware of sort of frustrated drivers. Um, keen to put their own overtake in in this case. Still got the double white line so no overtake on so just drop back by the time a little bit. Being ready to pounce should the opportunity arise. Just saw the corner sign coming up so we can negotiate that one. Maybe with the double white lines disappear after the corner. Left hand corner of the junction. And our trailer man's turning off. So now we might be able to sneak past these two cars using the acceleration of our machines to get past if they've virtually stopped. Takes on. We're looking behind us, waiting for a uh, Bernard one to come past. Very nice position now on the side of the road. You can see the car. Let's move it over a little bit to let you overtake. Just buy your time. There's the end of the double white lines. So 